Dow Jones and Amp Company is an American publishing and financial information firm that has been owned by News Corp since 2007. The company was best known for the publication of the Dow Jones Industrial Average and Related Market Statistics, Dow Jones Newswire and a number of financial publications. In 2010 the Dow Jones Index's subsidiary was sold to the CME Group and the company focused on financial news publications, including its flagship publication The Wall Street Journal and providing financial news and information tools to financial companies. The company was led by the Bancroft family, which held 64% of voting stock, from the 1920s until 2007 when an extended takeover battle saw News Corp take control of the company. History The company was founded in 1882 by three reporters, Charles Dow, Edward Jones, and Charles Bergstresser. They were joined in control of the organization by Thomas F. Woodlock. Dow Jones was acquired in 1902 by Clarence Barron, the leading financial journalist of the day, after the death of co-founder Charles Dow. Upon Barron's death in 1928, control of the company passed to his stepdaughters Jane and Martha Bancroft. The company was led by the Bancroft family, which effectively controlled 64% of all voting stock, until 2007 when an extended takeover battle saw News Corporation acquire the business. The company became a subsidiary of News Corporation. It was reported on August 1, 2007, that the bid had been successful after an extended period of uncertainty about shareholder agreement. The transaction was completed on December 13, 2007. It was worth $5 billion US dollar or $60 a share, giving News Corp control of the Wall Street Journal and ending the Bancroft family's 105 years of ownership. In 2010, the company sold 90% of Dow Jones indexes to the CME Group, including the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Products Consumer Media Its flagship publication, The Wall Street Journal, is a daily newspaper in print and online covering business, financial national and international news and issues around the globe. It began publishing on July 8, 1889. There are 12 versions of the journal in nine languages, including English, Chinese, Japanese, German, Spanish, Portuguese, Bahasa, Turkish and Korean. The journal holds 35 Pulitzer Prizes for outstanding journalism. Other consumer-oriented publications of Dow Jones include Barron's Magazine, a weekly overview of the world economy and markets and Market Watch, the online financial news site. Financial News provides news on investment banking, securities, and asset management. Big Charts, provided by MarketWatch's virtual stock exchange games, include stock charts, screeners, interactive charting, and research tools. Professor Journal, is a journal and education program for professors to integrate into curriculum. In 2017, Dow Jones launched Moneyish a lifestyle and personal finance website aimed at millennial readers. Dow Jones also published Heat Street, an online news and opinion website launched in February 2016 that was later folded into Market Watch. The monthly journal Far Eastern Economic Review closed in September 2009. Enterprise Media Dow Jones serves corporate markets and financial markets clients with financial news and information products and services. Its products combine content and technology tools to help drive decisions. Dow Jones owns more than 20 products that combine content and technology to help drive decisions which include Dow Jones News Wires Dow Jones Factiva, a database that provides a curate basis for making decisions through search results, alerts, newsletters, and charts about companies, topics, and people. Dow Jones FX Select, delivers real-time, breaking global FX news, expert trend analysis and in-depth policy commentary in 13 languages. Dow Jones Ventu Resource, helps find deal and partnership opportunities, perform comprehensive due diligence and examine trends in venture capital investment, fundraising, and liquidity. It provides data on venture-backed companies, including their investors and executives, in every region, industry, and stage of development throughout the world. 
Private Equity Analyst, Timely News and Critical Analysis of Private Equity and Venture Capital Activity Offers exclusive insight and breaking news on developments in fundraising, investment, deal finance, liquidity, returns, executive moves and more. Dow Jones Risk and Amp, Compliance, on Risk Management, Regulatory Compliance or Corporate Governance Content for Anti-Corruption, Anti-Money Laundering, Payments and Amp, Sanctions and more. Dow Jones News Wires Dow Jones News Wires is the real-time financial news organization founded in 1882, its primary competitors are Bloomberg LP and Thomson Reuters. The company reports more than 600,000 subscribers including brokers, traders, analysts, world leaders, and finance officials and fund managers as of July 2011. Logo of the Dow Jones News Wires Ventures in 2009 Dow Jones Ventures launched Fins.com, a standalone resource for financial professionals with information about finance careers and the finance industry. Broadcasting In broadcasting, Dow Jones provides news content to CNBC in the U.S. It produced two shows for commercial radio, The Wall Street Journal Report on the Wall Street Journal Radio Network and The Dow Jones Report. The network was shut down in 2014. Dow Jones also launched WSJ Live an interactive video website that provides live and on-demand videos from the Wall Street Journal Video Network. Programs include News Hub, Money Beat, and Lunch Break among others. WSJ Live was shut down in 2017. Indices Main article, S&MP Dow Jones Indices Dow Jones sold a 90% stake in its index business for $607.5 million to Chicago-based CME Group, which owns the Chicago Mercantile Exchange, in February 2010. A few of the most widely used include Dow Jones Industrial Average, DJIA, Dow 30, or often simply the Dow. Dow Jones Transportation Average Dow Jones Utility Average Dow Jones Composite Average The Global Dow Dow Jones Global Titans 50 Index Dow Jones Total Stock Market Index Dow Jones Sustainability Indexes Dow Jones UBS Commodity Indexes Dow Jones Target Date Indexes Newspix USA In March 2017, Dow Jones and Newspix Incorporated a Japanese firm that develops and operates a business news platform of the same name, established a joint venture called Newspix USA, LLC. The joint venture is headed by CEO Ken Breen, who is currently the senior vice president, commercial, for the Dow Jones Media Group, together with chairman Yuzuki Umeda, who is also the director of Newspix Inc. The joint venture launched the English version of the Newspix platform for the U.S. market on November 13. 2017. Similar to the original Japanese edition, the U.S. edition of Newspix combines business news from sources like the Wall Street Journal, Bloomberg, and Reuters with social networking features, such as comments on news articles from top-ranked business professionals from around the world, Propickers. The platform currently has a smartphone app for the iPhone with plans for release on Android in the future. Ownership the company's foundation was laid by Charles Dow, Edward Jones, and Charles Burke Stresser who, over two decades, conceived and promoted the three products which define Dow Jones and financial journalism, the Wall Street Journal, Dow Jones Newswires and the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Dow Jones was acquired in 1902 by the leading financial journalist of the day, Clarence Barron. In 2007 Dow Jones was acquired by News Corp a leading global media company. The Bancroft family and heirs of Clarence W. Barron effectively controlled the company's Class B shares, each with a voting power of 10 regular shares, prior to its sale to News Corp. At one time, they controlled 64% of Dow Jones voting stock. Currently, Dow Jones is owned by Rupert Murdoch, owner of News Corp., and several other major media companies. Buyout Offer on May 1, 2007, Dow Jones released a statement confirming that News Corporation, led by Rupert Murdoch, had made an unsolicited offer of $60 per share, 
or $5 billion, for Dow Jones. Stock was briefly halted for pending press release. The halt lasted under 10 minutes while CNBC was receiving data. It has been suggested that the buyout offer is related to Murdoch's new cable business news channel Fox Business that launched in 2007. The Dow Jones brand brings instant credibility to the project. On June 6, 2007, CEO Brian Tierney of Philadelphia Media Holdings LLC, owning company of the Philadelphia Inquirer, Philadelphia Daily News, and Philly.com, went public in an article on Philly.com expressing interest in joining with outside partners to buy Dow Jones. Tierney said, we would participate as Philadelphia Media Holdings, along with other investors. We wouldn't do it alone. In June, Joanne Virick, the creator of MySpace founder Brad Greenspan put forth a bid to buy 25% of the Dow for $60 a share, the same price per share as News Corporation's bid. Greenspan's offer was for $1.25 billion for 25% of the company. On July 17, 2007, the Wall Street Journal, a unit of Dow Jones, reported that the company and News Corporation had agreed in principle on a $5 billion US dollar takeover, that the offer would be put to the full Dow Jones board on the same evening in New York, and that the offer valued the company at 70% more than the company's market value. .mw parser output .template quote .mw parser output .template quote .template quote our strategy centers around leaving the print publications of Dow Jones intact to continue serving as the gold standard of financial reporting, and creating additional earnings streams through digital media initiatives that can produce a stock price above $100 a share. For too long, Dow Jones has limited its focus to the world of print media and allowed other less established entities to generate millions of dollars in profits by developing financial reporting franchises on the internet and cable television. The time has come for Dow Jones to break out of its slumber and extend its dominance into the lucrative arena of digital media. Channel News Asia Business Section Insider Trading Scandal Upon investigating suspicious share price movements in the run-up to the announcement, the SEC alleged that board member Sir David Lee, one of Hong Kong's most prominent businessmen, had informed his close friend and business associate Michael Lung of the impending offer. Lung had acted on this information by telling his daughter and son-in-law, who reaped an 8.2 million US dollar profit from the insider trading transaction. Corporate Governance Prior to its sale to News Corp, the last members of the board of directors of the company were, Christopher Bancroft, Louis B. Campbell, Michael Elefante, John Engler, Harvey Golub, Leslie Hill, Irvine Hockaday, Peter Kinn, David Lee, M. Peter McPherson, Chairman, Frank Newman, James Ottaway, Elizabeth Steele, and William Steer. See also New York City Portal Companies Portal Closing Milestones of the Dow Jones Industrial Average List of Assets Owned by Dow Jones